Alrighty, welcome, ladies and gentle weebs. I'm Tiabu, your host, and we're here for Shieldy Boy and Raccoon Girl, episode 12. Last time on Shieldy Boy and Raccoon Girl, uh, we were fighting off the forces of evil in the form of a giant wave of catastrophe thing, and we fought the 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 seemingly main big boss thing, which was like a weird spirit entity creature. We fought it, we killed it with a really cool curse shield, super duper Iron Maiden type power, which I really don't understand, but okay, it, it worked, it did a thing, uh, but it was a trick, that wasn't the actual boss of the wave, and now there's this, this kind of creepy lady dressed in all black with fans who calls herself Glass, and she wants to kill you, I think. Okay. Wasn't super excited by last week's episode. It was kind of meh. Uh, hopefully, it functions as solid setup for this week's episode, and we get something kind of kind of cool. Um, the show is slated for twenty five episodes, so I'm not sure where the core swap is in the middle. It's either after this episode or the next one, um, and we'll see if they build to like a mid season climax for that. Maybe they do, maybe they don't. Maybe it just doesn't fit with the story the way it is. Maybe it's the reason that the story has been kind of wonky in terms of pacing because they want to hit a mid-season climax. I don't know. Let's find out. I've got the episode up. It's at zero seconds. There will be multiple versions of this video. You can find picture-in-picture -picture ones with the video up there in the description down there and the time-based version on YouTube with any discussion at the end. Uh, time-based version will have a beep-beep timer goes boop 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 beep and on the beep in the green light that's the same frame that the video starts playing on my screen so that's probably when you want to hit the button beep beep timer goes here <clears throat> oh yeah and we're on a giant pirate ship in space or in the air or something hi glass Right. Mm hmm Sure. A single drop of sweat on his forehead shows that he's stressed. I wonder if there will be a new OP for the second half. This is T, by the way. Always T. That's glitchy. The other heroes are servants? What? Is that a layer? Could be.
Well, none of this is going to work. Nah. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. I like this music. I think it's her theme. Oh. Soul soothing potion? Uh, doubt. Yeah. I'm a snake. Bitch, what are you? What are you? I definitely like this theme. On cast on self, yeah. Well, your back is to the wall. Are you going to use the curse shield? Yeah, exactly. Well, I guess the wife said it's okay. Ah. And Philo again goes into a rage. Just a little tap. Jesus. And the flames... Ooh. Okay. What? Huh? Oh. Okay, I guess that makes sense. Does he? Ah. Aha. Back to this. But she, she saw this before. So, like... She broke out a shield prison in like half a second before. There's no way this works. Yeah. Well. Huh? 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 Who's us? Uh... 
Ah, so they're just going to run away. Just our secret technique. Can you leave the ship? That's real mysterious. We shall be the ones who merge triumphant from the waves. Hmm. What are they fighting against? There's something to these waves that we haven't been told. But they get a respite for now. So she remains an antagonist. I guess we could keep the same OP. Oh, and the ship just falls. So everybody's still okay. Seems like it. How'd Gran hold up in the village? Looks like she did well. Yeah. 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 And who? Yeah. And who? It, why are there conscious entities? Yeah. What's the truth about heroes? And who's this lady? And, and where's she from? And, and who's the weed that she talks about? Yeah. True. True. So we got to go to a different different town, right? We got to go to a, a new city with a different dragon hourglass and then potentially get some some infos, report to the castle. Oh, Jesus, not again. Oh, boy. Are we seeing this through a crystal ball or something? We gotta be seeing this through a crystal ball or something, right? Hmm. Hmm. He actually prays to him. When you hate them, I guess. Is he going to let him use the dragon hourglass to class up? Mm. Work? <laughs> what? Huh? Power unbecoming of the shield hero. Such snark. <laughs> <laughs> Am I though? Nah, good. I got a family. <laughs> Watch me. <laughs> uh. 
You fucking what? Ah. Ah. Who the hell is that? Ah. Who are you? Oh, that's the symbol of the the church thing. She had a somewhat unique accent. Yeah. Fuck you. <laughs> Is she telling him off in the Queen's place? Uh-huh. Yes, please. Oh, God, please have an answer. Huh? Is this... Is this... Ah... <laughs> ah, holding that over her grimace intensifies. <laughs> Later, old man. Ah, there's that lady meeting with Melty. I wonder why. Why is this guy spying? Mm. Yes. <laughs> Perfect.
Hey, he's the real homie. For sure. Huh? Oh, cool. Okay. Mm hmm? Oh. Strength of strength gloves. Okay. Mm. Melty. Hello. <laughs> Don't be nice to the the the, the royal family. <laughs> Nah, <laughs> nah. Well, he treated me like shit. <laughs> huh? The matriarchy. They're crystal balling all of this. Mm. Whoa, they're setting him up for murdering Melty? Wow. Wow, royal family. That's real fucked. That's got to be Malty's thing, right? Eliminate the crown princess.
And the next episode is... The Devil of the Shield. Okay. Cool. Interesting episode. Um... Couple points higher than the last episode in my book. Uh, there were some kind of tropey, cliche y things. For example, the big boss appears and then shows that they are totally out of the, the main character's league for now and then just leaves. Uh, in this case, it's because the, the time limit on the wave was running out, but that's really convenient. Um, still, we get to see the, the big boss see some of her powers get the reveal that that Naofumi doesn't stand a chance at present, and now we have to get stronger until the next wave. Okay, okay. Real, genuine threat there. Uh, the other heroes got completely bopped, and yeah, it sucks for them. Um, interesting things this episode were the little tidbits, for me at least, were the, the little tidbits of information that imply that there are perhaps answers to some of the questions that I've been having. For example, the biggest question of the show, to me so far, is why does the royal family hate the S.H.I.E.L.D. hero? Because they have hated him out the gate, and they still do, and, and they've just, except for Melty and possibly the Queen, they have been out for S.H.I.E.L.D. hero blood since day one. And I don't know why. It because because I don't know why, they seem like what I call mustache-twirling villains, you know? Like, <laughs> shallow villains. But there were some things in this episode that imply potential answers. For example, what the king says... What the king says after he has a little, a little spat with Naofumi... He says something about losing his family again. I want to I wanna read those lines again. Uh, the, 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 this whole thing with Grovel first is pretty cool. We'll talk about that. Um, don't ever bother me again. I'll have your wretched slaves play, pay for your crimes, and now Fumi goes full protect. Pretty effective. Uh, and then... This lady, who appears to be working with Melty, and has a symbol of the church, I think, uh, gives him some helpful advice. And we don't, we never like see her whole face, do we? Never see her eyes, except in this very far away shot. So we don't really know who she is. She could be the masked ninja lady from before. She might have the same hair color, but I don't know. Uh, regardless, we get this conversation, and what, where does he say it? Reconcile with that swine. There. This grudge, this, this grudge that he holds, there's something to it. If I let him and the demi-humans do as they please, I will yet again lose my family. He has lost his family before. And he blames the shield hero for it. There's something here. I'm elated. <laughs> I'm really happy that there's something here. That's that's neat. There are there are other interesting things that that I don't know could be built upon. Um, for example, what Glass says about the other serv the the other I'm sorry I just messed up the other heroes being Naofumi's servants. That's a weird one. Like maybe in the lore of the heroes, the shield hero is above the rest for reasons. And suppressing that information has been an important goal for people for reasons. I don't know what the answers are, but the show is hinting that there are answers, and that, that excites me quite a bit. Then, of course... Uh, uh, sickly sweet... And gets absolutely destroyed. None of your business. Bitch. Where's the face? Yes. Yes, the face I love to see. 
The father has absolutely no way to, to deal with this. So they're meeting. Melty is meeting with this woman who, who gave advice to Naofumi. And this soldier guy is spying on him. And I think he's the soldier who appears later outside, either holding the orb or swinging the sword. Yeah, I think that's the same guy's face. I think it is. So, probably in multi mines employ and tells her about this little meeting and then she tells him to gather some dudes and act as Melty's guard and then pull a Julius Caesar thing. No chance. Yeah, what support, really? And then she she completely throws a tantrum. And he realizes that her mother will yell at him? What's going on here? And it reeks of a setup. And uh This has gotta be this has gotta be multi multi making moves here. Eliminate her competition for the throne. And at the same time, frame the shield hero for her murder. Easy peasy, two birds, one stone. Yeah. That's what she's going for. Gotta be. Um, Glass is pretty cool. Oh, music! Kevin Pankin, throughout this episode, was kind of going off. Uh, like, I, I, I don't know. The, 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 the soundtrack for all of... All of Glass's appearance and the whole fight is kind of sick and unique and and good. And then we get we get some themes that I didn't recognize later once this fight ends. Really cool. So they run away. They get away. Where was that scene with the with her on the ship? And it's like all big and pretty cool. Looking. No, she just disappears there. No, there there was this other scene. Uh uh Time limit, right? Yeah, there we go. We got the big big old CGI ship. This feels like an ambitious shot. With her hair all waving. Well oh, she runs. From far away, it looks kind of wonky just because of the frame rate, but it's actually pretty pretty well done. And all the stuff blowing in the wind. And then, of course, the soundtrack for this section is awesome. Yeah. Kevin Pankin going off. All right, so there are mysteries about the waves. There are mysteries about, about the, the king and the family. And why they hate the shield so much. But there seem to be answers to these mysteries. And the homies are on their way to Shield of Frieden. Or the other one. I think Shield Frieden. To use their Dragon Hourglass to, to class up. But their journey has been interrupted by what seems like an assassination and frame attempt by, Mel by Malty on Melty. So that could throw a wrench into their plans of going and having a nice little little trip. Uh, I also really like this little resting moment that we get when Naofumi just kind of like looks up at the sky and is like, gosh, I love traveling. Traveling is so much fun. Uh, where he's, he looks up and there's this kind of janky bird up here. It looks real weird. Kind of looks like it's dangling from a string. Yeah. Um... I like this moment, you know? I don't have to deal with anything. I, I, I'm at peace. There's no music for it. It's it's kind of a nice scene. I like these little, th this kind of little break um, where the characters can just be. I like that. So, all in all, an enjoyable episode. I am excited to see what these little hints at potential depth build into. Um, I hope they are built upon. But, uh, 
pretty cool. I guess the the wave is over. The big boss needs to be defeated, and they need to be a lot stronger to do it, so they're going to go and get stronger. Cool. Let's wrap it up. I've been Tiabu. This has been Shield Hero, episode 12. I hope you've enjoyed it as much as I have, and I hope to catch you next week in the next one. Peace.